Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. Coming to you from an undisclosed location. Uh, not sure how stable it is. Anyhow, uh, join me if you can. Uh, and we'll, we're going to have a English conversation about advertising. We're going to talk about advertising and how it affects our lives. All, all, all the levels of English speaker are welcome to the class. Nice casual conversation class. So uh, join me now and we'll have our conversation about advertising. This is a common topic which you might see on an IELTS test or a TOEFL exam. Uh, this, this is a common Thing, a common subject that comes up in those uh, English exams. Uh, so, uh, okay, join me now and we'll get started. The more the merrier. All levels are welcome. Again, I apologize to all you folks out there in Verbling for the late start. I had a few technical problems. I seem to be okay now. Uh, so, if you can join me. We'll get started. We're going to talk about advertising. Maybe learn a little vocabulary along the way. And practice maybe a little description, describing an advertisement. Maybe a little, well, no maybe, definitely some, uh, some opinion. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Heidi. Hello. Nice Hello. to see How you. Again. How about your tooth? What's that? How about your tooth? My tooth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's it's gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they pulled one out. I have to go back for some more work, but uh -huh. I'm okay. I'm doing okay now. Don't you feel uh, any pain? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing okay. I'm having difficulties with... Uh, you know, uh, well, my power went out today. I have two uh, IP providers, uh, internet service providers, mm -hmm. two ISPs. Both of them weren't working earlier. Now I, well, do you live in Philippines? Uh, uh No, uh, Luzon, but about an hour north of Manila. North, uh, Manila, north. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, up in Clark. The old Air Force Base, actually. Uh, and hello, Ken. Hi, Ken. Yes, hello. How are you? Hello. I'm doing okay. How are you? Hello. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Ken. <laughs> hello, Heidi. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We've done our, all our welcomes. Okay. Our, our topic uh, for this class is going to be advertising. So uh, okay, uh, let's let's jump right in. A little opinion, um, Ken. Do you think advertising actually influences your buying decisions? Uh, yes. Usual uh, recently in internet ad. You know, after I searched uh, Google or something like that, and uh, that ad appeared, and then uh, you know, beside the browser or something. Yeah. yeah it's that's, magic. Yeah. So. I rarely watch TV now nowadays, but uh, internet, you know, advert is very help, kind of influence influential to me, for me. Really? Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Um, all right, uh, Heidi, what do you think? Do you think that advertising actually affects your buying choices? Yes, yes, I think so. But I I doubt <laughs> advertisement on the internet or website. So usually, I'm influenced by uh, TV commercial, TV advertisement. You think, really? Yeah, 
Um, I trust it <laughs> a little, but sometimes it's doubtful. Um, really? This part okay. of that mm. is very good information for me. Some new product. Oh, okay. When the, when in, new products are introduced, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh well, yeah, okay. That makes that makes sense. Do you, uh, Heidi? Do you ever uh, online? Do you ever, for example, go to a website where they have uh, consumer reviews, customer reviews, like yeah. for a hotel or a restaurant or something? Very, very few times, but not so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, wh why did you? What were you looking at? A restaurant, hotel. What? What was the business you were researching, or the product uh, actually? Hmm. Actually, if I remember. buy something, uh, for example, clothing, I uh, buy uh, from Uniqlo or some place. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I I generally use it for travel things, hotels, restaurants. Maybe airlines. And like that. about electronic devices, I buy the Japanese kind of famous <laughs> companies. <laughs> Sony, you are. You do. Yeah. Are you, Are you an Apple consumer? Not Apple. <laughs> Sony. Sony Bio. Not Apple. All right, you resist. I always buy Sony. <laughs> ah, very okay. All right. You are displaying what we would call product loyalty or brand loyalty. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, Ken, do you have brand loyalty to any any certain any specific brands? It's up of to any? it's up to the item actually. In mm -hmm. in in a kind of in terms of the kind of uh, home electric appliance, yeah, I, I tend to buy a uh, kind of Japanese makers, but uh, I, I sometimes buy you know foreign makers uh, for uh, for the cost friendly kind of thing. I bought uh, MPC Fresh Media. Uh, uh, maybe it's a for it's a, it's not as I, I don't know, but it's not a Japanese company's brand, but uh, it has a lot of functions and like. And I can bring uh, any files, a lot of files, not only the MP3, but also, you know, kind of Word file or like USB uh, memory. But, and I also <laughs> listen to okay. the FM radio, and it ha also has a mic to record, to recording. So I decided to buy this item instead of buying uh, iPod. Actually, <laughs> iPod is a bit expensive, so I shift yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Uh, I have. My personally, I have resisted the Apple revolution. I don't have any <laughs> Apple products. Uh, actually, I'm talking to you today from a backup system, my main computer that I normally use with my my main uh, internet provider is my main internet provider is down. I don't know what's going on, but that's a Samsung, and I'm talking to you on my laptop, which is a Toshiba. No, me too. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Di Dynamics. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> I, I could relate. All right. Um, I don't know that I actually have brand loyalty for anything except maybe blue jeans. Maybe I always get Levi's. I don't know. I, I have a lot, it's... a lot of friends in the uh, Philippines. Almost yeah. all of them said Toshiba is the best. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, it's very popular here. <laughs> You're right. It's very popular here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I have one. <laughs> yeah, they have a good market here. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome to the class, T. T man. How are Hello, you? Hello, teacher. I'm doing well. Uh, nice to have you with me, have you with us, I should say, again. Uh, T, we're talking about advertising is our topic for the class. Uh, we're just talking about brand loyalty, being loyal customers to a certain brand of whatever, clothes, electronic products, food, what have you. Uh, do you have brand loyalty for anything, T? Yes, I'm a big fan of Google and Apple. I use a lot of products of them. Okay. Do you have your Google glasses yet, T? 
<laughs> no, I'm. I don't. I didn't have the opportunity to buy one. I think it's very. Uh, it's a very rare item. Few people can get. Yeah. It. Yeah. Did you say few people or real people? <laughs> few. Very yeah. very okay. few. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I had also asked if uh, the others if. Do you feel T that advertising really affects your your purchasing decisions? T, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm a little paranoid about my connection. I've had some problems. <laughs> Do you think advertising affects your decisions what you buy? Um Yes, it 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 uh, it affects my decision um, in in some in some way, but it it won't it won't affect my final decision. I think it will give me the idea of what kind of products are there in the market. But uh, um, okay. yeah, it will give give me some choices. Okay, well, you're the second person in class who said that advertising influenced them by introducing new products. Uh, so, hmm, so, which, of course, I can understand, and it makes sense, but it, it discludes, it does not include 98% of all advertising, which are the same, <laughs> same advertisements over and over and over again. Um, welcome to the class, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hello, you? Okay. That's you. Oops. You're stuck, actually. How's it going? Yeah. See you as well. Andrew, do you, do you have brand loyalty? Do you drink, for example, do you drink the same yeah, soft yeah, drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I know Every what. Every day, like Coca-Cola or Pepsi or whatever. Yeah, I know what brand word loyalty means, and actually I don't eat and actually I don't have um, junk foods and junk drinks uh, as coke, as <laughs> any Coke uh, I refer mm -hmm. to. Yeah, but um, I, I I'd rather buy uh, the food and. The brand is very well, very well known to me. So actually, it's uh, it's produced in China because, as you already know, as you already know, known, uh, I live in Far East, and all import uh, goes from China. Yeah. Wait, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Uh, it, yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, and also, okay. also some k Korean food is quite well quality. All right. Okay. Um, what kind of advertising? What type of advertising do you think is the most effective? For example, if you had a business, how would you advertise? Uh, it would depends on what kind of business I had. So oh, yeah. if yeah if if Absolutely. I uh, if I had some business uh, I I have to um, sell some products for for example to children right uh, well not to children but some products uh, which is supposed for children like some toys okay. or whatever so right right um, first of all I think. I think the most powerful adver advertising is advertiser which is on television nowadays. For example, uh, at, uh, at the time when children watch TV, yeah, children watch TV yeah, sometimes. I, I think they they do it sometimes. Yeah, people allow allow them to do it, and. Uh, and first of all, I have to make some survey uh, to get to know what time, in what time, the most children watch TV, and try to 
um, try to show this advertisement in, in this specific period of time, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so you're a smart man. You're going to do your market research first. Yeah. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna advertise to your target market, right? This place should be yeah. only me. <laughs> I'm always affected by other other advertisement of cosmetics <laughs> on TV. Uh, really? As a, as a youth, they are very beautiful woman. Their skin uh -huh. is very smooth and white. Um, this uh -huh. new lotion is very good. Oh, really? I tried to buy. <laughs> <laughs> but really? the is always the same. <laughs> okay. Where do you see these advertisements for cosmetics? Um, maybe all women have some problem on their skin. <laughs> well, what do you? Where are you seeing the advertisements on TV? Watching a, a drama TV? or something? Yes, yes. Yeah. A screen is very important. Very beautiful skin screen. And uh, how effective uh, this lotion for your skin? You make uh, make smooth and white, <laughs> and I always okay. think, really? <laughs> Half really? doubt, but I'll try. <laughs> oh, but you have to try it just to, yeah. to check your <laughs> doubts. Too. Many times. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. I'm amazed here in the Philippines how how much they how many advertisements there are for male lotions and skin scrubs and I don't know what I don't even know what to call them facial moisturizers I don't even I don't know <laughs> I don't use any of that stuff but I'm really surprised how many uh, are targeted toward men here not like uh, anyway Hello, lipstick um, this spring uh, maybe this is a trend yeah. <laughs> A lot of things. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Heidi. I, I remember previous conversations. You you used to run a small business. Um, where did you advertise, or how did you advertise, Heidi? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Can? Yeah. Can? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm very paranoid. <laughs> yes, I was selling some uh, textiles for sewing. Uh, the, I didn't oh. have any advertisement, but instead I chose very good quality of uh, clothes and uh, mm, I sold my uh, clothes as cheap as I can, as I could. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, so maybe customers um to uh, to offer a good quality of textiles, uh, good advertisement, the customers yeah. will uh, say something to their friend or so. It's indeed, very good. indeed. Okay, very good. Uh, yes, in fact, we call this word of mouth advertising. Okay, word of mouth advertising, many people argue it is the most effective type of advertising. And actually people use this idea to promote their products or, or introduce products online like in Facebook or social media. Uh, Ken, how about you? If you had a business, how would you... How would you advertise? What do you think are the most effective advertising methods? You are kind of recently targeting targeted market. Uh, yes, can can be effective. Mm -hmm. And before, in order to targeting and maybe uh, checking the market or kind of checking the good search results. So, and I, you know, sometimes you know, kind of uh, how can I say, a uh, swindle happens on the website. Uh, and someone shared about about that on Facebook, and the shop web shop ah. is not a, a you know kind of a swindle <laughs> website. So uh, so in order to prevent such kind of thing, maybe I rely on the kind of a, a, like a kind of big Amazon kind of thing because 
or some other sites has yeah. a kind of central uh, server system. We, we can compare the cost and spec and the customer's reputation, and we can check the shop. Even if uh, maybe, uh, so if there's something happened in the site, maybe Amazon or that uh, owner site erased that shop. So that's <laughs> how <laughs> I'm, I am. I was thinking it about. Sound like this is hap it sounds like th this has happened to you before. Oh uh, no, 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 no. No, not you. Okay. Is, yeah, but uh, I found that kind of thing on Facebook. You know, someone's post uh, about that yeah. on Facebook. Uh, Huffington Post blog. Yeah, I found uh, uh, the news about it. Okay. Do you, do you think Facebook marketing is a uh, is effective or? Facebook advertising? For me, it's annoying, so maybe it might causing a reverse effect for me, to me. But uh, oh, I understand okay. because it's a free site. They need, uh, you know, kind of, uh, they have to gain a profit. From yeah, that they need market. some a revenue stream. Yeah. Okay. That's how we would say that in official business lingo. lingo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they certainly do. They have to, they have to have some kind of revenue stream. So yeah, uh, I'm sure you've noticed in your Facebook that you go to Facebook and exactly if you were looking at I don't know wrestling on YouTube or something, if they, professional wrestling. Suddenly you have advertisements for professional <laughs> wrestling action dolls or whatever. They're they're very good at targeting. Customers are getting better every day. It's a little scary, actually. Um, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the negative aspects. Negative uh, adver negative uh, effect advertising. T. Tell me, what kind of advertising do you find annoying? Do you not like? What advertising do you dislike? Um, I don't like the. Uh, like I when I was watching videos in on on YouTube, uh, at the beginning of the video there is a oh. very long annoying. Uh, I hate that annoying part of advertisement, and uh, you must click to to skip it. Yes, it very annoying. I totally agree with you. I don't know why, but that annoys me so much. <laughs> I, I totally, absolutely agree with you. I get actually physically angry sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and those, and I'm I'm uh, totally not interested in that advertisement. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I've run into. Uh, of course, I have pop-up blockers and all that on my on my computer on my internet, but browser, but. Uh, I've run into there's a couple websites that I don't know what it is, but I go to the I forgot what, I, I have to figure out what it is. But as soon as I go to that website, five seconds later it um, redirects me to a new website. It changes the website page. So I'm and it's uh mm -hmm. it's one of the or internet news. I got to figure out which one it is so I can just avoid it altogether. But it really annoys me. So I start to read an article in the news, but it won't let me finish the article. It goes to another page, and it's really annoying. Yeah, okay. Uh, Andrew, what is the most annoying advertising for you? Sorry, could you please repeat your question? Ad block. Ad block. Yes, Andrew. Sure. What is the uh, what is the most type of advertising that you encounter? The most annoying thing. Okay. For example, when when we watch some TV show or some movie, and after uh -huh. after twenty minutes you watch it, it boom all of a sudden. The advertisement appears on TV screen. It's kind of annoying, yeah. And if it and if it repeats uh, each twenty minutes, so 
Yeah. That's really annoyed me, and that's why uh, I, I, uh, I try not to watch movie uh, on television, just in record. Uh, Can okay. I say like this? Uh, I'm uh, I watch movie in records or recording movie. movie. Oh, okay, not in records. I watch recorded. Recorded movie, yeah. Yeah, recorded movies, right? Um, hey, uh, Andrew, AdBlock. Is this uh, what is this? Is it a plug-in or uh, is it an actual? AdBlock Plus. This is uh, this is free software that allows you to skip the advertise the advertisement on YouTube. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. You're uh, like an angel. On uh, all computers I have at home, uh, I've installed this uh, free software and I've solved the problem with advertisement on YouTube. Well, that's great. Thank you, Andrew. I thank you. T thanks you. We all thank you. Okay, no problem. Great. Yes. Yes, and I, I advertisements on television that you remind. There's one particular television station that I have here in the Philippines, and they they. Okay, let me write that down. Okay, um, there's one station. I swear to you that they advertise. They they play the show for five minutes, and they advertise for five minutes, and the show for five minutes, they advertise for five minutes. Literally half the time they're advertising, and it is so annoying. And I wouldn't watch it except it has a couple of very favorite programs are, are on that. Uh, Family Guy, um, whatever. A couple shows that I actually do watch. I enjoy watching, but it's so annoying because every five minutes, you have to wait five minutes again for the show. Uh, okay. Uh, Heidi, what is your least favorite? Beautiful. Thank you, Andrew. Well, least favorite advertising? Advertisement on the computer. I, sometimes I play some games, like Tetris. Side of screen, okay. there's some advertisement. Um, screaming uh, the computer like that. So uh, it always asks us, uh, are you computer OK? Is it going slow like that? Oh, yeah. And yes. uh, always blinking, very noisy <laughs> to my eyes. Once I clicked, yes. suddenly it came to my computer. Then at first I turned on my computer. Always uh, I searched my mm -hmm. computer. Then I uh, couldn't uh, un uninstall that. Yes, I hate those two, and I have accident, ac totally accidentally clicked on one of those ads. Yeah. Oh, well, irony, because actually, then it, and then it, uh, it actually slows down your computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Is your computer that's too slow? <laughs> if you click on it, then it's actually going to slow down your computer, always, <laughs> until you can get it completely removed, and it's hard to remove. About uh, YouTube, I'm okay because I enjoy YouTube for free because of such advertisement. If YouTube mm. uh, couldn't gather such ad advertisement, we need to pay some money to YouTube. Before I heard such a story, uh, YouTube will start uh, gathering money. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, well, like everybody else, I guess they need a revenue stream, so. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, I think it's. Did you did you see happen to see a little bit off topic here? Did you happen to see uh, that in Pakistan, people are protesting because the Pakistan government has banned YouTube, so they're very oh, really? upset. Oh, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I found to be interesting. Really? Take to the streets. Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was a little interesting. Yeah, you can look it up after class or whatever. It's, it's kind of interesting. Oh, uh, Ken. About Ukraine. Yeah. Go. <laughs> about Ukraine? Yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. reading lots of uh, mm -hmm. Ukraine, haven't we all? 
Uh, Ken. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ken. Uh, how about yourself? What do you mm -hmm. find to be the most annoying type of advertising? Ah, oh, annoying type of what? Uh, maybe the YouTube ad, you know, kind of the way of uh, appearing you uh, uh, on YouTube is uh, kind of annoying because, like you said, on the commercial on TV, I you know when I want uh, want to watch the uh, YouTube uh, video, uh, we need to <laughs> wait. Maybe sometimes such kind of uh, the way of advertisements causes causes a neg negative effect, reverse effect. I, I mean, so mm -hmm. maybe uh, or uh, pop pop right. art maybe kind of like uh, how can I say like Facebook advert or Google, uh, you know, advert appears on the top le right hand side. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, it's not so annoying because I just <laughs> I just just ignore uh, if it is not necessary. Yes, that that's a kind of my opinion you, you, about. <laughs> okay, I I have one more. You guys can actually I I wonder if this is happening <laughs> just to me, not just to me, but in the just in the Philippines lately, and I mean in the last couple of years. More and more, uh, when I go to the movies in the cinema, the movie theater, uh, at the beginning when they normally they would have, uh, of course, they would show previews of upcoming movies, movie trailers, they're called. And I'm okay with it. Actually, I like that. I, it can show me upcoming films that I might be interested in. But lately, now, they have advertisements for laundry detergent and coffee and whatever products and, you know, like TV commercials in the movies. This kind of disturbs me because I'm paying a lot of money to go to the movies <laughs> so I can avoid advertising. Uh, they, Ken, do they do that in Japan? Do they advertise? Yeah, sometimes. In the past... In the movies? I, I recently not so many advertisements, um, you know, kind of trailer kind of thing are often played before the film, but not so many advertisements. But uh, mm. yeah, it happened in the past and still happening, I, I, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's annoying. We said I have already paid for the, for the movie, but uh, I have to right, uh, uh, watch. The, so sometimes I intentionally, yeah. you know, uh, go to the theater room, uh, you know. Uh, how many minutes? You know, I, I checked uh, maybe ten times later. Uh, the the opening time usually movie starts at that time. Uh huh. Yeah, oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Ken, I have a question for you. Again, I'm going off topic, but okay. Um, maybe I, I I don't know. I heard I was told by mm -hmm. in Japan when you go to the movies in the mm -hmm. theater. Mm -hmm. You're you're not allowed to bring your popcorn into the movie. Your uh, snacks. I think Is that true? so. Uh, as an official, mm, but the people br sometimes brought a kind of pet pet bottle of tea or something. But uh, usually, it's it's maybe we need to buy the drink or popcorns. So going to the theater is pretty expensive. Movie cost yeah, is yeah. I I heard the highest in the world, plus such kind of cost. So oh, really? so I rarely go to cinema actually. I o often watch DVDs. Yeah, mm -hmm. not going to the okay. theater. Yeah. So so I'm still not clear. Is this true or not? You can't bring popcorn into the movie theater, or you you're allowed, but people I know kind of gray zone. It's okay, but I it's we okay. need to buy in uh, in the theater. In that oh, yeah. there's the a shop, then we should buy right. that bread. We can't right, right, right. Uh, bring it in uh, from outside. Right, but you can, okay, you can watch the movie and eat popcorn. Yes, yes. Okay, somebody was lying to me. Somebody was telling me, telling yeah, kind me kind of gray zones, so some people are doing that. But uh, always show kind of rule <laughs> that uh, current uh, cinema complex uh, has such kind of rule. So, uh, okay, yeah. so maybe it depends on the actual cinema, the, all right, the individual business. Kind of gray zone. <laughs> yeah. Gray zone, all right, all right. 
Fair enough. Yes, yeah, somebody told me, I think a Japanese student of mine told me that, oh, it's rude to eat popcorn in the theater because it's too loud. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, really? How do you eat popcorn in Japan? <laughs> Not so noisy. Loud. But smell. Not so noisy. <laughs> I, I feel some smell. So if I bu yeah. don't buy uh, that no. popcorn, I regret of that because of such ah, smell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andrew, that's funny. Take your shoes off to go to the movies. Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the... Uh, do you know of any new or different advertising? What's what's a new kind of advertising? I mentioned in the movie theaters. I never used to see this, only in the last year or two. Um, T, do you know of any new types of advertising that you're starting to see? Can you think of anything? T? Sorry, I have no idea about new advertising. No? All right. Anybody? There's any, a wide open question for the class. Uh, has anybody has anybody seen any new types of advertising which caught your eye? Another one I've noticed is that this is really weird. I, I I've seen it a couple times here in the Philippines. I used to see it when I lived in California quite a bit. There are people who get paid to basically advertise with their car, their normal car. But whoever, Coca-Cola, pays them a certain amount of money, I don't think it's much, but it, they pay them to basically write Coca-Cola on their car, on the front, on the back, on the sides, and drive around. Have, have, have you guys ever seen that? Yeah, there is, there is such a tendency in Russia. But you, uh, you know, really? uh, <laughs> but there is a funny thing: um, cars with sites uh, Coca-Cola on, on its board, yeah, left and right board. Uh, right. Here in Far East, go, go from Japan. Japan, yeah. It's actually these are Japanese car, yeah, and people. Uh, buy such cars from Japan with some stickers on, on the cars here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when cars go on there, they, they usually they don't remove these stickers from the car and continue driving cars. <laughs> oh, so they're not even getting paid. They come with advertising. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? Advertising for free. Wow, genius. Okay, that's good. I All have right. another other idea. Okay, T. Yeah, uh, go ahead. In, in, in Japan, there are some people, uh, they will stand in by the road, uh, they, will, they will give you free tissues. And on the tissue, tish, on tish, tissue. Tissue. Oh, oh, I've yeah. heard, I, I've heard about that. Tissue. Tissue. Yeah, tissue. Is this in... I've heard about this in Taiwan. Maybe maybe Taiwan also has has this kind of advertisement, yeah. but it's very common in Japan. You will get a free T-shirts and on the tish, on the uh, car on the package. I mean, uh, yeah, package on, on the cover of the T-shirts. You you'll find the advertisement. Uh, it's usually about some uh, some kind of new new restaurant or some uh, real estate. Uh, uh yeah okay, <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty good. Everyone uses a tissue, sure. Having a napkin, sure. Hmm. Okay. In, oh, in yeah, Osaka, that's, that's a good one. In Osaka, uh, it's very famous commercial street, a very expensive place. Uh, there are some snack maker opened, like coffee shop, but not coffee shop. All drinks and uh, food is free. Ah, really? Yes. Oh, uh, coffee or tea, all free. Uh, all the time, or just as part of a grand? It's kind of advertisement for uh, snacks. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, they're on the table. Uh, there's a big, uh, uh, some basket, 
the, there are many snacks. All snacks are free. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Andrew, what were you going to say? Yeah. I was going I was going to ask you uh if, if there's such a thing uh, in United States or Philippines when uh, usually young people uh, give some um, advertising uh, cards in the streets to everybody. Ah. Mm. Okay, they hand out I know okay, this is a little confusing. But uh all right. Uh, normally, a bill is how much you owe. Okay, you go to a restaurant and they give you your bill for the check. That's how much you owe. Or you get your your statement from the electric company. You use this many kilowatts. This is your bill. You owe this much. But also the advertising bills, pa papers people hand out. Um, yes, definitely. Okay, I think you Pe didn't get my paper? question. Yeah, li like uh, small pieces of paper with uh, with yeah, some it. advertising on it. Yeah, and that's called a bill. Even though it's, bill. It, I know it's confusing because also a bill is your statement of how much you owe, but different yeah, meaning, I'll just totally different bill, meaning. Or, or billboard, like a huge. Sign. Yeah, like billboard. Yeah, right. The big ones are billboards. Mm -hmm. right? Right, um, and you see signs in England or or outs. Strangely, in America as well, post no bills. So when people have advertisements that they just put on the street, uh, on the lamp post or on the wall, those kinds of advertisements are called bills. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. they're paper advertisements. Um, yeah, okay, they have those, but generally they're always for inter uh, restaurants, uh, nightclubs, entertainment yeah, yeah. kind of places, uh, karaoke bar, yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Answer is yes. Sometimes, like uh, for a bar, it may it may be a one free drink or half price, something like that. So if you turn it in, it may have uh, offers. Right. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, how about uh, Ken in a, in Japanese supermarkets? Mm -hmm. Do they ever have people handing out um, that give out uh, free food? Well, you know, samples. Oh, yes, yes. It sometimes happens. Yeah, I sometimes eat. <laughs> it's a kind of good <laughs> snack for free snack to eat and. And some uh, recently, kind of uh, the big shopping mall opened uh, close to my house. Inside the shopping mall, kind of I guess one shop deal with uh, import imported food. That shop prepared free coffee for the all customers. So I often oh, that's great. drink <laughs> drink coffee there. <laughs> there every day. Yeah. For the coffee. And, and sometimes I buy the <laughs> buy the goods food there. Yes. Okay. All right. So it works. Yeah, I think so. Yes. All right. Great. You should have yeah, what, become famous. <laughs> yeah. What's the name of the place? How do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you know, one thing though, the supermarkets sometimes be weird stuff <laughs> they're giving samples of. Sometimes it's like, ooh, ooh, no, thank you. Uh, for example. Serious, totally seriously. I, I went to uh, two weeks ago when I went to the supermarket. They were, they wanted to, they were trying to give out free samples of toothpaste. <laughs> like toothpaste? How does that work? I'm just gonna eat a little toothpaste? I don't know. A little weird. Sometimes it's very strange things. They're, they're giving away samples, really things I wouldn't even eat, like. I don't know, fake meat products or I, I don't know, weird stuff. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, Andrew, can you get free food at the supermarket in Russia? Do they ever give away free no, snacks? No, never. No. Never. Russian, <laughs> Russian, Russian sellers 
R R Russian sellers are so greedy, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, got, I have to say, coffee is definitely the best one. I, I have come across free coffee before, but it's definitely the best. Uh, yeah, it turns down free coffee, <laughs> even if you don't like coffee. Yeah, you think so. All right, what company do you think has the best advertising camp? I to pick one company that you think has great advertising. Or a great advertising campaign, uh, what they're doing, where they are, um, they have YouTube videos or whatever. Uh, think about that for a second. Yeah. T, is, do you have any, okay. Oh, Andrew, go ahead. Hang, hang on, T, I'll come back to you. Uh, just, just one thing comes to my mind. This is the advertising, the Coca-Cola advertising, like New Year's Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, right? <laughs> 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 Jingle bell. Yeah. Hmm. Funny. Yeah. Do you Coke? remember? Do you remember yes, I do. And, uh -huh. and frankly, I remember Coca-Cola advertisements from 1976. Actually, they have very memorable. It's the real thing. Coke is. I don't know. I never forget it. Uh, T, who has the most memorable advertising, an advertisement that you can't forget, or who do you think has the most effective advertising? What company comes to mind? Um, I think uh, Steve Jobs is a good, very good advertiser. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, I remember uh, when the uh, release of MacBook Air, he put he put the MacBook Air in an envelope, and uh, he when when he uh, put it out from the envelope, all the people were so surprised. It, it's 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 very uh -huh. impressive. Ah uh, okay ah uh, all right very okay specific kind of oh uh, all right specific actions that yeah. to, that to, okay. Although it's not a it's not a advertisement, but I think that very impressive. Oh yeah, it is an advertisement. Indeed, it is. I'm sure he very much planned that and decided to. I'm sure he promoted the heck out of it too. I'm sure it was in YouTube videos, and uh, I'm sure he got it out there everywhere as much as he could. Uh, that's very much advertising. I think. I think that's an excellent example. Um, yeah. Uh, Heidi, who, who, do you, who do you think of when you think of advertising? Who, who do you think does it the best? Uh, maybe Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, before I uh, was Japanese, I didn't used to eat uh, ta um, turkey or chicken before. Mm -hmm. But once uh, the advertisement of Kentucky Fried Chicken said, um, Christmas with Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> and ah. They had such advertisement two or three years consecutively. After that, People <laughs> go to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, before Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. They have those in the Philippines too. Oh, really? Yes, I can. Yes, and I can, Kentucky Fried Chicken always has those pictures of like slow motion <laughs> pictures of the bounce of the chicken with the gravy. <laughs> and they're like these slow motion, the gravy splashing. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think that's a good choice because I can. You know, you're talking about it, I can immediately picture in my mind what you're talking about. They sell some uh, f Christmas special, like package. Yeah. So we need yeah, to I remember that. Up the one, one month before. <laughs> in that oh, <laughs> really? Is that how that worked? Uh, yeah. yeah I, I remember it. I, I, don't, I didn't participate, so I don't remember exactly. But, but I remember the advertising campaign, yeah. Ken, do you uh, have any favorites? Mm, yeah, you know, when I was a kid, I was a kind of a high on TV addict kid. So, I so sometimes I check the such old vi video commercial on YouTube. Yeah, that's kind of with uh, nostalgia. Yeah. yeah, some commercial. Yeah, uh, and and then recently, it kind of uh, cell phone commercial was impressive to me because the dog appears the co uh, the commercial. 
and it's very uh, f familiar dog w which I kept in the past. So I think uh. that kind of, kind of good, uh, you know, strategy because that company used to use the stars like Cameron Diaz kind of thing. That maybe salary yeah. of that uh, they have to spend a lot of salary, you know, to use that right. uh, star. So uh, maybe they changed their strategy. And the, the commercial uh, can be successful. Uh, it will uh, su succeed it. So, yeah, maybe kind of good strategy. Dark kind of animals, cute animals. Also, the star like uh, yeah. quality sometimes. Right. Yeah. Cute animals, so you don't have to. Actually, many very successful, at least in America, advertising campaigns were based on animals. Um, uh, Taco Bell had the famous Chihuahua. Uh, uh, Bud Light, uh, Budweiser beer had a, a uh, Spuds, the dog. Um, wow, actually, yeah, there's been quite a few successes with animals. Spokes pet, I guess. Um, of course, you're talking about Cameron Diaz or some famous person, Tiger Woods or whoever, endorsing your product. That's, that's called a spokesperson. And uh, yes, I, uh, I am out of time. Thank you, gentlemen, and uh, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, apologize for being a little bit late due to technical problems. But uh, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. It. See you. Take care. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.